An observatory is a location used for observing terrestrial or celestial events. Astronomy, climatology, meteorology, geophysical, oceanography and volcanology are examples of disciplines for which observatories have been constructed. Historically, observatories were as simple as containing an astronomical sextant for measuring the distance between stars or Stonehenge, which has some alignments on astronomical phenomena. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Astronomical observatories. Astronomical observatories are mainly divided into four categories, space-based, airborne, ground-based, and underground-based. <laughs> ground-based observatories Ground-based observatories, located on the surface of Earth, are used to make observations in the radio and visible light portions of the electromagnetic spectrum. Most optical telescopes are housed within a dome or similar structure, to protect the delicate instruments from the elements. Telescope domes have a slit or other opening in the roof that can be opened during observing, and closed when the telescope is not in use. In most cases, the entire upper portion of the telescope dome can be rotated to allow the instrument to observe different sections of the night sky. Radio telescopes usually do not have domes. For optical telescopes, most ground-based observatories are located far from major centers of population, to avoid the effects of light pollution. The ideal locations for modern observatories are sites that have dark skies, a large percentage of clear nights per year, dry air, and are at high elevations. At high elevations, the Earth's atmosphere is thinner, thereby minimizing the effects of atmospheric turbulence and resulting in better astronomical seeing. Sites that meet the above criteria for modern observatories include the southwestern United States, Hawaii, Canary Islands, the Andes, and high mountains in Mexico such as Sierra Negra. A newly emerging site which should be added to this list is Mount Gargash. With an elevation of 3,600 meters above sea level, it is the home to the Iranian National Observatory and its 3.4 meters INO340 telescope. Major optical observatories include Mauna Kea Observatory and Kitt Peak National Observatory in the USA, Roque de los Muchachos Observatory and Cala Alto Observatory in Spain, and Paranal Observatory in Chile. Specific research study performed in 2009 shows that the best possible location for ground-based observatory on Earth is Ridge A—a a place in the central part of eastern Antarctica. This location provides the least atmospheric disturbances and best visibility. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Radio observatories. Beginning in 1930s, radio telescopes have been built for use in the field of radio astronomy to observe the universe in the radio portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. Such an instrument, or collection of instruments, with supporting facilities such as control centers, visitor housing, data reduction centers, and or maintenance facilities are called radio observatories. Radio observatories are similarly located far from major population centers to avoid electromagnetic interference EMI from radio, TV, radar, and other EMI-emitting devices, but unlike optical observatories, radio observatories can be placed in valleys for further EMI shielding. Some of the world's major radio observatories include the Socorro, in New Mexico, United States, Jodrell Bank in the UK, Arecibo in Puerto Rico, Parks in New South Wales, Australia, and Chajnanta in Chile. <laughs> <laughs> Highest astronomical observatories 
Since the mid-20th century, a number of astronomical observatories have been constructed at very high altitudes, above 4,000 to 5,000 meters to feet. The largest and most notable of these is the Mauna Kea Observatory, located near the summit of a 4,205 meters feet volcano in Hawaii. The Chacaltaya Astrophysical Observatory in Bolivia, at 5,230 meters (17,160 feet), was the world's highest permanent astronomical observatory from the time of its construction during the 1940s until 2009. It has now been surpassed by the new University of Tokyo Atacama Observatory, an optical infrared telescope on a remote 5,640 meters (18,500 feet) mountaintop in the Atacama Desert of Chile. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Oldest astronomical observatories. The oldest proto-observatories, in the sense of a private observation post were De Yuang, Australia Zoritz Kara, Karahunj, Armenia Lokru, Ireland Newgrange, Ireland Stonehenge, Great Britain Quito Astronomical Observatory, located 12 minutes south of the equator in Quito, Ecuador Chanquilo, Peru El Caracol, Mexico Abu Simbel, Egypt Kikino, Kumanovo, Republic of Macedonia Observatory at Rhodes, Greece Gozik Circle, Germany Ujjain, India Arkham, Russia Cheomseongdi, South Korea Angkor Wat, Cambodia, the oldest true observatories, in the sense of a specialized research institute, include 825 AD, Al Shamashir Observatory, Baghdad, Iraq, 869, Mahodayapuram Observatory, Kerala, India, 1259, Marika Observatory, Azerbaijan, Iran, 1276, Gaicheng Astronomical Observatory, China 1420, Ulu Beg Observatory, Samarkand, Uzbekistan 1442, Beijing Ancient Observatory, China 1577, Constantinople Observatory of Takiad Din, Turkey 1580, Uranibor, Denmark 1581, Stjernaborg, Denmark 1642, Panzano Observatory, Italy 1642, Round Tower, Denmark 1633, Leiden Observatory, Netherlands 1667, Paris Observatory, France 1675, Royal Greenwich Observatory, England 1695, Sukarev Tower, Russia 1711, Berlin Observatory, Germany 1724, Jantar Manta, India 1753, Stockholm Observatory, Sweden 1753, Vilnius University Observatory, Lithuania 1753, Navy Royal Institute and Observatory, Spain 1759, Trieste Observatory, Italy 1757, McFarlane Observatory, Scotland 1759, Turin Observatory, Italy 1764, Brera Astronomical Observatory, Italy 1765, Moore Observatory, Indonesia 1774, Vatican Observatory, Vatican 1785, Dunsink Observatory, Ireland 1786, Madras Observatory, India 1789, Armagh Observatory, Northern Ireland 
1790, Real Observatorio de Madrid, Spain. 1803, National Astronomical Observatory, Colombia, Bogota, Colombia. 1811, Tartu Old Observatory, Estonia. 1812, Astronomical Observatory of Capodimont, Naples, Italy. 1830–1842, Depot of Charts and Instruments, U.S. Naval Observatory, USA. 1830, Yale University Observatory, Athenium, USA. 1838, Hopkins Observatory, Williams College, USA. 1838, Loomis Observatory, Western Reserve Academy. USA 1839, Pulkovo Observatory, Russia 1839–1847, Harvard College Observatory, USA 1842, Cincinnati Observatory, USA 1844, Georgetown University Astronomical Observatory, USA 1873, Quito Astronomical Observatory, Ecuador 1884, McCormick Observatory, USA 1888, Lick Observatory, USA 1890, Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory, USA 1894, Lowell Observatory, USA 1897, Yerkes Observatory, USA 1899, Kodikanal Solar Observatory, India. <laughs> Space-based observatories Space-based observatories are telescopes or other instruments that are located in outer space, many in orbit around the Earth. Space telescopes can be used to observe astronomical objects at wavelengths of the electromagnetic spectrum that cannot penetrate the Earth's atmosphere and are thus impossible to observe using ground-based telescopes. The Earth's atmosphere is opaque to ultraviolet radiation, X-rays, and gamma rays and is partially opaque to infrared radiation so observations in these portions of the electromagnetic spectrum are best carried out from a location above the atmosphere of our planet. Another advantage of space-based telescopes is that, because of their location above the Earth's atmosphere, their images are free from the effects of atmospheric turbulence that plague ground-based observations. As a result, the angular resolution of space telescopes such as the Hubble Space Telescope is often much smaller than a ground-based telescope with a similar aperture. However, all these advantages do come with a price. Space telescopes are much more expensive to build than ground-based telescopes. Due to their location, space telescopes are also extremely difficult to maintain. The Hubble Space Telescope was serviced by the Space Shuttle while many other space telescopes cannot be serviced at all. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Airborne Observatories. Airborne observatories have the advantage of height over ground installations, putting them above most of the Earth's atmosphere. They also have an advantage over space telescopes, the instruments can be deployed, repaired and updated much more quickly and inexpensively. The Kuiper Airborne Observatory and the Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy use airplanes to observe in the infrared, which is absorbed by water vapor in the atmosphere. High-altitude balloons for X-ray astronomy have been used in a variety of countries. <inaudible> Volcano observatories A volcano observatory is an institution that conducts research and monitoring of a volcano. Among the best known are the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory and the Vesuvius Observatory. Mobile volcano observatories exist with the USGS VDAP Volcano Disaster Assistance Program, to be deployed on demand. See also